one nice versus to lose prediction team news lineups preview league one defensive specialists nice endeavor to maintain a position on the podium when to lose head to the alliance riviera on sunday lunchtime Les Aiglins continued their astonishing run of shutouts by drawing 0-0 with Montpellier HSC last time out, while their visitors held out for a 1-1 stalemate at Lille. Match Preview Rearguard excellence for the men in red and black is nothing new, as Christophe Galtier oversaw a string of dogged defensive displays during his only season in charge of Nice in 2021-22 and Francesco Ferrioli's staunch performers are by far and away the toughest nut to crack in the division this time around too. Lady Luck was partially responsible for their one point at Montpellier before the international break. Though, as La Pelade struck the post either side of the halftime whistle, and Les Aiglins did little to truly test the gloves of Benjamin Lecomte at the other end of the field. Nevertheless, that lackluster stalemate ensured that Nice would head into the November hiatus at the only French top-flight side still with their unbeaten record intact this term. And second place in the table is theirs before leaders Paris Saint-Germain who are only one point better off return to action on Friday versus Monaco, who are two points behind Ferrioli's men in third place. Les Aiglins could therefore be demoted to the bronze medal position by the time Sunday rolls around, but a draw on Friday night would present them with the opportunity to rise to the summit against Toulouse, against whom they will seek a remarkable eighth successive League One clean sheet. A new page of French football history could also be written, as Nice are yet to trail in a match after 12 game weeks this season. Since data has been available from 1947 to 48, only the 1984 to 85 Bordeaux crop have also managed to go 12 games without falling behind and Les Girondins went on to win the title that year. The omens are certainly promising for Nice in that regard, while in contrast, Toulouse fell behind to Lille when they took on Les Dogues at their staid Pierre Maroui fortress. But Carles Martinez's men also gleaned a point from their most recent affair, which was a tale of two headers. Highly rated teenage centre-back Lenny Yoro deftly guided Eden Zagrova's delivery into the bottom corner to break the deadlock in the first half. But ahead of his Netherlands debut in their 6-0 2024 Euro qualifying thrashing of Gibraltar, Tejas Dalinga also rose highest in the same penalty area to peg Lille back. A low-scoring stalemate domestically was a slight reality check for Toulouse, who had stunned Liverpool 3-2 in the Europa League three days before heading to the Stade Pierre Maroui although back-to-back -back games without defeat was a welcome sight after three successive losses to the Reds. Montpellier and Lou Haver. Continental fatigue has played its part in the Coupe de France holders' current predicament, as they lie 15th in the standings only a point better off than Loria in the relegation playoff place while they are also at risk of being caught by 17th placed Clermont, who have a three-point chasm to make up. While Nice have clean sheets to boast from each of their last seven affairs, Toulouse have coincidentally gone the same number of games without recording a shutout and are winless in five matches versus Les Aiglins. Although both meetings last year ended with the two sides shaking hands on a point apiece. Team News The naughty step at the Alliance Riviera is well occupied at present, as midfielder Yusuf Undaya Shimier will serve the second of a two-game ban for his sending off against Rennes on November 5th. While Hisham Boudaoui cannot feature on account of a totting up of yellow cards. Algerian defender Youssef Atal also remains in exile over his controversial Instagram post relating to the Israel-Palestine conflict. Pablo Rosario filled in at right back against Montpellier, but with the Dutchman potentially being required to step in for Boudaoui in midfield, Jordan Latamba should now return to the backline. Nice have fewer injury concerns than suspension worries to factor in for Sunday's game, as only Alexis Claude Maurice Calf is in the infirmary, and Ferrioli will certainly consider attacking recalls for Gaetan Laborde and Sofiane Diop for the visit of Toulouse. Ferrioli and Martinez can empathize when it comes to fresh suspension setbacks, as seven goal striker Dalinga and German midfielder Nicholas Schmidt are also banned for this game due to an accumulation of bookings although the latter missed the stalemate with Lille anyway.
The returning Frank Magri, who was coincidentally banned against Lille, should be a straight swap for Dalinga at the tip of the Violets' attack. While Christian Casiers Jr.'s spot in the engine room is safe owing to Schmidt's sanction, unless the Venezuela international needs more time to recover from his international exploits. Dennis Genro back, Zakaria Abuklo back and Oliver Zandon Hip are not expected to return from their afflictions until next month, but left-back Gabriel Suazo is back from his own suspension. Nice possible starting lineup. Bulka, Latamba, Tadibo, Dante, Bard, Rosario, Thuram, Sanson, Laborde, Mafi, Boga. Toulouse possible starting lineup. Rests, Dessler, Costa. Nicolaisen, Suazo, Casiers Jr., Spearings, Donham, Sierro, Gelibert, Magri. We say, nice 1-0 to Toulouse. Forced to work without the suspended Dalinga and injured Abuklo, Toulouse's chances of breaching a near impenetrable nice backline are wafer thin. And Martinez's men could learn a thing or two about rearguard mastery from their upcoming opponents. For all of the hosts' remarkable work at the back, 13 goals at the correct end of the field is still the worst record in the top four. So only a solitary strike may separate the sides on Sunday as Nice extend their unbeaten record, thanks for your watching, don't forget to click the subscribed button and hit the bell icon for more.